Hello friends. Today I am going to demonstrate an interesting case of operated developmental cataract eight years back. And at presentation, pressure had very high refractive error. You can see superiorly iris was defective, and one of the haptics had uh, come into the angle. And in fact, because there was no iris, there was no sulcus where the IOL could be placed. So I decided to remove the IOL because of the high refractive error and continuous irritation that patient had. Under viscoelastic cover, I removed the IOL. I released the synecy between the iris and the bag or the anterior capsule rather. I realized that the bag or the anterior capsule didn't have adequate support and it was also subluxated. So I decided that uh, I have to create the pupil first. I found that there was superior a bit of iris which had become atrophic and shrunken. So I decided to do pupilloplasty by passing a 9-0 proline suture. I am using 25 gauge end opening forceps to manipulate the iris by the simple railroading technique or the 26 gauge needle. The thread was passed. Again the thread was pulled back and then it was passed through the loop of the suture. So I used the single pass four throw technique here and then pulled the suture from both the sides. So the iris defect was reduced. So after the iris defect was reduced, I had two options. One was to do SFIL. But considering the microphthalmos, I decided that I would rather do a iris claw lens in this particular case. So I took the required power of the iris claw IOL. I was planning to do a retro fixation of the iris claw. The iris claw lens is in the anterior chamber. Now you can realize that how small the globe is because the entire diameter of the IOL is 8 millimeters and the central optic is around 5 to 5.5 millimeter. So you can realize that the size of the cornea is really small here. So I made it oblique because the nasal side you can see the pupilloplasty was done. So I didn't want to enclave the iris claw in that area. This is the special forces for holding the iris claw. So on the superior or rather the suprotemporal aspect, I enclaved it using the Sinsky hook. You have to always ensure that the enclavation is good by moving the iris claw IOL. Once it is good, you can release it and then hold it with your left hand and then pass the Sinsky hook from the other hand and then feel for the those hooks which are there and enclave it into the iris. Once you see that the enclavation is good, you can release the iris claw IOL and this is the end of the procedure. If required, we can also do yeah, uh, PI, but in this case there was adequate uh, iris defect which was there nasally so I didn't do any PI so this was the end of the procedure you can see I have reduced the iris defect quite significantly and placed the IOL patient did really well with unaided 6 by 12 vision thank you